Welcome to Ecoholics. I am Sana Srivastava, and here in this lecture, we will discuss about the absolute advantage theory of Adam Smith. Now, Adam Smith gave this theory, and you know, Adam Smith is also known as the father of economics. So, in the year 1776, he gave this theory because in 1776 he published his book, The Wealth of Nations. Now, in this Wealth of Nations, what he said, he criticized and attacked the mercantilist thought. Now, what was the view of the mercantilist? What they were saying? They were saying that if a country needs to accumulate wealth or increase their income, what the country needs to do? They actually, they have to promote export and restrict the imports. So what the surplus is the income of their country. So what they were saying that a country can increase the export and restrict the import can accumulate wealth. What Adam Smith gave, what Adam Smith said that these two countries can grow. It means suppose I take the example of country A and country B. If both the countries at the time of mercantilists, what were they were saying? They were promoting exports and they were restricting the imports. This was the scenario on the mercantilist. But what Adam Smith said that if country A is producing some good which is efficient for the country A and on the same lines if country B is producing something which is efficiently produced in country B. So what they will do? They are producing beyond their consumption level. It means they are producing surplus amount of food grains, whatever they are producing goods and services and they can exchange and they can both grow at the same time. But what was the scenario under mercantilist? What they were saying? Only export, not imports. So that was actually restricting. It means the country A is growing at the expense of country B. This was the main thought of mercantilism. But what Adam Smith said that with the help of international trade, that is, he said, we need to promote free trade, free trade, laissez sphere. He said laissez sphere means invisible hand. So what are the things they were saying that free trade means without any restrictions, no tariff, no quota. The laissez sphere means without the interference of the government. So that's what Adam Smith was promoting. Now with the simple example, we will understand what he was saying. Suppose we have two commodities. Suppose we have wheat and suppose we have rice. Suppose we have two countries, suppose India and China. So this is suppose for example that India is producing and suppose wheat at 6 unit China is at 1 or suppose rice India is producing this much and China is producing 3. Now what are the units so here units like wheat we can understand suppose kg per labor hours so wheat is producing the unit is kg per hour kilograms per hour and rice is we can say also kilograms per labor hours. So it means in one labor hour, India can produce six units of wheat. On the same lines, China can only produce one. We're talking about rice here. For the one labor hour, India can produce one kg of rice. On the same lines, China can produce three kg of rice. Suppose this is a hypothetical numbers and this is a scenario. Now what happened? Here from this example, we can clearly say that India is having absolute advantage in terms of wheat and China is having absolute advantage in terms of rice. So this is what we have to say that these countries are having, these two countries are having absolute advantage in the respective commodities. So what they have to do, they have to produce surplus amount and they will exchange. Suppose for example, first exchange will happen. Like here, for example, we take that India is producing six wheat. On the same lines, China is producing uh, three rice. What they will do? They will exchange. It means export and import will occur. What will happen? India will get or India will give six W to China. And India will get three units of rice from China. So what will happen? Now you know that India can produce 1 kg of rice per labor hour, but China can produce 3. 
so what's the benefit for india after international trade is 2r because india can produce one one kg of rice per laborer in domestically but after importing they are getting three it means extra two so what's the advantage of india is two kg of rice they are getting suppose on the same lines if we see from china's perspective china can produce one kg of wheat per laborer but because of the international trade they are getting six kg of wheat per laborer it means what the gain for that is five w because they are getting five kg of wheat now what happened to china because china is producing three r so what they will do if they will produce because they are saving five laborers because if suppose china is producing wheat domestically what would happen they need five more labor arts it means in order to produce six kg of wheat china need six hours because this they can produce one kg per hour so they are able to save five labor arts what they will do they will put these five labor arts into rice what will happen three into five so the final answer is 15 so they are able to produce 15 r because they are not investing in wheat they are investing in producing rice because they are having absolute advantage and efficiently they can produce the rice so this is the best example for international trade now what will happen suppose domestically they are producing this and what they have to do they have to transfer 3 r to india what will happen 15 minus 3 so what they will get final answer is 12 r they will get so this is the simple relatively simple example of absolute advantage theory and this we can say the extension of adam smith's division of labor that was domestically working towards the international trade although this theory is actually at the foundation but it was david ricardo who explained the complex scenarios that if countries are not having the absolute advantage then also they can trade as well as gain from international trade so thank you so much and if you like this video please give a big thumbs up if you have any doubt anything you want to say if you like this video because it takes a lot of effort so please do comment on the comment box below it feels good for us because we are working hard towards delivering these lectures so please do comment whatever in your mind is and if you want any other video you can mention that in the comment box as well and download the ecoholics app where you'll find full courses of economics optional, Indian economic services, UGC net, econometrics, mathematical economics and many more. So visit our website ecoholics.in and please don't forget to subscribe Ecoholics on YouTube and click on the bell icon. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.